back to Timberborn, and we are at the start of a relatively long bad tide. And last time we were building our new housing area. Um, and I am now not super far ahead. I'm only one video ahead, which means most of your comments I have seen, which is kind of cool, kind of useful. Um, I'll try to remember some or most of them and we'll work through them as we go um so um there were some comments about the fact that i should have floodgates in here maybe uh some of you did spot that i was building this too high yes you were correct you will have seen in the last video that we had some flooding which is indeed a feature not a bug um yeah, I, I think, you know, I kind of like the root. And if I got that set to be cut, I have. We probably just need more beavers and more um, lumberjacks. Um, and I think slowly we are working on removing the um, warehouse cheese. Um, there's still some of it over here, but we are working on removing it, which is good. Oh, and they're getting that bill as well, which is interesting. Um, so let's put in the missing piece of path. We'll get this Oxbow Lake blocked off, uh, which is again going to speed up the flow of water to us once we have water to flow to us, which we don't at the moment. Um, so yeah, we're going to get rid of this stuff eventually. Um, an idea that I liked, which someone pointed out, was... Um, with water flowing down here, this area would be nice to uh, build a second colony. Actually, I quite like once we get daylight back. Um, if I had dams here, this is potentially quite a nice natural river, um, particularly if we dealt with some of the bad tides. So I'm curious eventually to expand into this area to see what we can do with that. Um, yep. So we'll get there, we'll get there. Um, I think this this video is going to be about finishing off this area. The reason I've demolished these is I think we should put in some dams across here so that the water can flow around a little bit, make the area a little nicer. That's little, not little, not the supermarket. Uh, so we're going to demolish that one and we'll put dams in here as well somewhere um, just start working on improving things overall a little bit and uh, yeah we're in a better place I am wondering if I put in a forester there yeah we could plant the rest of I think we can actually plant all of the little oxbow here, which would be cool. That would be good. Um, and then, yeah, we'll work on finishing getting that built. Um, when water comes back with how we've adjusted things, this should refill, which will be good. Our swimming pools will then have water in them. Um, and then I think we want to be looking at working on um, a new industrial area. So, yeah, that's my plan. That's my plan. It, it's crazy how we've now, you know, we've gone from needing all of this water pumping to almost none of, you know, a fraction of it with, with where we are. Um, I think now we can start to put in the stuff that I wanted to put down here which is going to be the nectar of life and the thing that makes it worth getting out of bed in the morning well we can't make monster but we can do coffee so yep we're going to start growing some coffee um, I need to tidy up some of these paths in fact we're going to do that now we're going to Get rid of that randomness. We're going to do that and that. And I think something a little bit aesthetic, although we are playing the iron teeth, would be to do that. And 
Let's... We're going to unplant those pine trees and we'll put oak trees in there. Or maybe something else. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get some coffee growing. Um... And then this is going to be our new industrial area down here. Um, we will need power. Now, we could do something really ridiculous. Um, we've got quite a lot of logs, actually. But Emmy is tempted to try and do something really quite ridiculous. Generate power. Um, which is... To levy it across there. Hoping that's enough output for all of the water. Now I guess it is because the water flows through here just fine. So um I'm going to need a staircase down there. And we're going to put I'm gonna put floodgates this end. So that we can adjust things. We don't want a path like that. We want to go across there. We're going to do that. Um, because the first yeah, a key part of any industrial complex is the ability to generate power. Um, and I think maybe we do something a little bit crazy. And we build a big line of water wheels across here. Now, maybe actually it would be more sensible to focus the flow eventually. Um, and it would probably be even more sensible to make it so that it's a channel that's too deep. Um, but initially, I think what we'll do is we'll just put in a bunch of bigger water wheels. And we'll use some power storage. Uh, I still think having gravity batteries along here would look awesome. I know I normally use the flywheels, but I think gravity batteries would look great on this save. So um, what we're going to do, I'm going to make the decision. I can make a decision to delete all of these. We're going to neaten up the path here. There's instantly making it not neater. That. There we go. So, and then I think that we are really tempted actually to try and focus the water through this bit. I know I've just built that, but I am really tempted to maybe put a row of dams along there. Um, I think probably we want to remove this stuff, uh, which means we need to click on each one individually because I'm pretty sure we do anyway. I don't think we can just do demolish. No. But that will obviously open up the water low speaking of water I was just quickly checking the water levels because I'm so used to panicking about them on here yeah I think we we get rid of those but we're kind of at the point where we can start diversifying a bit um, I want to get um, more bad water pumping going, more extract going, that kind of thing. Um, and I'm thinking about this. And I'm then thinking, actually, maybe the way to do power is because we only get water through here during temperate. We're on hard mode, so it's a relatively short amount of time. So maybe that's not the way. I mean, maybe this is sensible it will hold water in. 
So maybe actually the sensible thing to do is to replace these with dams. So we hold a bunch of water. Maybe it's more sensible to do what I spoke about before and divert this bad water source so it comes through this way. And we've got this bad, we could just put power in here. Um, to some extent. Um, I mean, could we we could do some stuff with just altering the flow of this because there's a fair bit of land up here I guess ideally we would want terraforming now we have the discharge which means we can get permanent bad water flow so I think maybe what we do is create some sort of network of water wheels up here. Ultimately to be our power generation. Maybe that's more sensible. Still think we want some water wheels down here. Uh, I think we can play on triple speed. Right. And those are in, which is cool. Yeah, maybe we just build. I'm trying to think what we want industry wise as well. Uh, we could have more stuff going on. So let's get that going as well. Um, we are going to need gears, planks. Um, what are they doing over here with me? They got our Oxbow Lake shot off. Not quite. I guess it's because that's a low priority. They're doing other building, which is fine. I'd rather they did that. These are these are low priority jobs. Um, yeah. So we need. Let's go both sides of this. I think two smelters will be a good start. It's only got one at the moment. Uh, landscaping, I think we want two explosives factories. Uh, let's pause the building of these for now. Just while we while we think. Uh, We probably want to start getting, we don't have enough science for that yet, so we, we can do with more science. Um, which means we could really do with more beavers. It means we could do with some beavers growing up, so we might just have to be patient there. Um, I think we want to do a couple of woodworking factories so we can get into treated planks. Um, Yep. We so if we leave a couple of gaps, we could do those that side actually. So we then need wood. So we would need um, one, two, three. I'm going to go for four lumber mills. How many have we got at the moment? We've got one. We've got one lumber mill. Yeah, okay. Um, and does that leave us a couple of spaces for gear workshops? It does with a bit of... A bit of... Uh, platformage. Yeah, and a couple of gear workshops. So, yeah, I think with, with, with treated planks, that, so that gives us a good industrial base. Um... We then need food processing, which is going to be fermenters, which we will do something like that. I quite like that layout. That's a, uh, a one that JC the Beard uses quite a bit. 
Um, 22 well-being, very nice. All right, let's do that. Um, food, we will need the oil press. I think we, yeah, let's unlock that. We will want two of those, I think. We'll do them like that. Pause and pause. And then I think we ferment soybeans, don't we? So, yeah. Oh, we'll need the um, coffee brewery. We could do a coffee brewery. We don't have enough science points for that. Okay, so that's that's the start of our industrial complex. Now, the smart amongst you will notice that we need to get power across to that. And I think we will do that by coming underneath the path once we've got this stuff done. Yeah, that's all in. That's nearly in. That's in. So let's put our dam piece there. We don't really need it, but I think it might be worth putting in. So I'll do that. That gives us plenty of room to expand. And with a path coming through here, we can expand backwards as well. We've got storage just here, which is obviously pretty good. Uh, I'll call it. I've got rid of all of that so we can delete that path now. I've learned that it's really useful to delete the path underneath the platforms without doing the delete at all because otherwise you delete a big chunk of stuff you really don't want to delete. Uh, yep, so that's done. Excellent. That's in, so we now want to demolish that. And then, yeah, what I'm going to do is... We need to delete that, and that, and that, and remember the things that were there, and do that. And we need enough science to unlock the universal power shaft. Which is 500. Right. Or the vert straight to vertical would do, actually. Which is only 50, so yeah, we could use that instead. And that'll let us get a power connection between these so let's prioritize that and then we can put them back and then we can start them on building a bunch of this stuff i guess so, um i just don't want them to start working in it because we don't have any power provision over here yet so, um so yeah power we'll do the we'll do the one that uses the least um there's the the thingy, yes. And then we want to go like that. And then we drop a straight power shaft in the middle. And then we put that over the top. Then we do a smelter back there. And a fermenter back there. And a piece of path there. And we make sure that we prioritize them building the path and we're good um and yeah they then need to get all of that built which is going to take them a little while i suspect um so all of that's built all of that's built so once we get water back we'll be good for the swimming pools a bit of me does wonder if we should dam this bit off so we could use a water dump to keep those full um, we could also do um, some showers along here. Uh, the other thing that we could do is... They have... The... Um, I thought they had the... Is it just the other ones that have the contemplation? Yeah, I guess it is. Okay. So we can't really do the motivatorium yet, I don't think. So but I am very tempted. We'll see how we go for things drying out. 
Yeah. Right, but yeah, we want them to be pausing stuff as they build it, basically. And then my thought is... My thought is... They've got two thoughts. So they're 25. They're a huge amount of resources. They generate four times the amount of power. Or more than four times the amount of resources. We've got so much space. I think we just go for loads of little wheels. Um, and we've got lots of locks. But I think we just go kind of crazy on these. And... Uh, As an initial power source. So we'll probably have to do some stuff to focus the water flow. I know that. Um, hopefully you can't hear my neighbour doing building work. We'll do that. Um... We'll bring power across there. We will pause for those. Um, we need to come across like that. So we actually want that to be a four way. And we'll do that. I think actually some of those are probably pointless because they'll be in the shadow of the island. But yeah, I think we'll do that for now as a chunk of power. Um, so I don't want these using up beavers just yet. Um, but yeah, once we're in a better position for explosives and terraforming and stuff so i think we want to be getting a staircase up here um so let's oh that's our bad tide ended with plenty of water and plenty of food so yeah we'll, we'll start building our way up here So we're going to do that. That should let us get all the way up there. Well, probably chop down those trees. But yeah, I think maybe what we'll do... I mean, we're kind of up there already, but this is a bit more... Feels a bit more direct. Um, I'm wondering if I... Because I'm thinking that we should totally reshape this. But kind of the first thing that we need to do is get some terraforming going on. So I'm slightly wondering if the sensible thing might be to do something like our something like that. Um and dynamite that out so we can get a matching one in. And then put a um, dirt excavator up here. Because I think we could completely reshape this and make it into, and this, and make it into a bigger, might even temporarily throw this off the side so that we can get in here, get rid of some of this stuff. Um, that bar might be a problem. Was you? That bar might be a problem. Um, probably the way to solve that problem is just to get rid of those. 
That Lara then doesn't look like a problem. We've got swimming pools and stuff. We are good. We are good. But yeah, we need to make sure that over here, tab key. I remembered tab key. Um, but that needs needs me remembering what they are. So we've got cassavas over here. We've got soybeans. Um, got canola seeds. So we're going to need some storage tanks for canola oil and coffee. So let's make you um, canola oil. Make you coffee. What was you? Um, we've got storage for logs and plank. We've got plank storage over here. Not sure we have. So let's enable that, shall we? We start making this area more industrial. So plank storage. There we go. Um, gears was the other thing that I thought of. We using tab again. Get me. Um, we do not have gear storage over here either. So um, I kind of feel like it would be sensible at this point to join these together for the sake of a few planks and logs. So let's do that. Another bad tide approaching. Um, yeah, let's go all the way along there. There, okay. There. And medium warehouse. We're going to put it there. We're going to make that gears. Uh, that's awesome. We're getting power in now. You can see some of these aren't turning because they're in shadow, essentially. Yeah, yeah, so I, I think this is going to be a really cool idea. If we get these stuck open, basically, and if we've got a drought, that would be a good time to do that. But we are so far away from having the resources to do that. Um, yeah. But this should be good because we can then, I think then what we do is we get rid of this area. Make use of, and we don't need those doing stuff. So, uh, actually, we should be making use of. Where are you? Mangroves. You. You plant these. <laughs> the coffee bushes are up, so we need a gatherer flag. There we go. And we need a warehouse. Do a pit warehouse there for coffee beans set to supply, and then over here we will do a medium warehouse for coffee beans set to obtain. Hey, I think I'm gonna get all of this stuff built and I'll come back to you guys. Back a little bit earlier, the bad tides just started, but we're struggling or gears for some of our production and i've just hooked up the power here and we're generating 900 horsepower and we've got some spare beavers so i figured i know we'll get some of this stuff running um so we'll get the plank production and the gear production going um seems sensible we're we're sort of okay for planks but you know we may as well um get this stuff running we've got supplies over here to make all of that um seems somewhat sensible to me we can probably by the looks of it shortcut the route as well if we put in a 
staircase there and then run that back here um, and prioritize building that because otherwise they have to go all the way around here so be a little bit more efficient with our passing but yeah we're generating quite a decent amount of power so obviously actually we're in a bad side so we're not going to be now because i didn't think about preserving power so that was a bit of a waste um so cancel that let's go back over here let's unpause this guy and uh, get these working i guess um so yeah Well, uh, we'll need to be thinking about our power storage. And that might mean that we do need to think about building some gravity batteries up here. Um, yep. Or throwing in the engines that I spoke about building. Um, and we've now got the science to unlock them, actually. And I think it would, you know, it wouldn't be a bad idea to tuck some engines in here. So, um, and they're 400 horsepower each. We probably need quite a few of them. Feels like we're leaving some dead space if I don't fill that gap, though. So, um, I guess the alternative is building them out over the water. Um, but I'm not sure I like that. Or I move the storage tanks. Now that might be a better idea. Um, so what we do instead is we, we give that a bit of priority. And we then do um, two engines there and two engines there we can easily adjust the path and do storage tanks there there and there we can do canola oil, coffee, coffee, and we'll need to do over here. Um, be set to our grease, coffee set to obtain, and we'll set that to supply and to supply. Let's pause you. You need to get built, and you need to get built. Yeah, so that that is an issue with how I'm doing power off of water wheels without having yet any graph batteries or anything like that. I mean, really, we need to get a um, you know power running off of this, which is a a sort of intermediate plan i think if we can get some engines running that's going to help apart from the fact that we will be burning a ton of wood so let's plant the rest of our oak trees here you can be paused now because those mangroves are in the Water supply is actually dropping a little bit, so I think what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll blast that out and put another water pump in. Uh, yep, I didn't actually watch how things went with this when the drought ended. Doesn't uh, matter. Um, we need to delete that slowly actually so we can recover the material yeah so much building to do 
very much building to do. So I'm, I'm not sure whether I... And I could run the power line up through the river. Basically, we're going to need to have a power line that comes up here. It could even drop off of the bottom of here. We need to unlock the high power shaft. Wow. Been a while since I've had to worry about doing that. So we would come somewhere like that. We're already into quite large construction projects. I think having this in the water is going to be nicer than having it up on land. Uh, it probably we might end up coming up over there, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's uh, run up along there. Something like that for now delete that path once they've built all of that. Um, yes, we've got seven days of drought and our swimming pools have dried out, so... I do think that maybe we should go... Um, we should do um, that. have a couple of water dumps in there. Don't need path along there. So we would do fluid dump, fluid dump, and stream gauge. We want to make all of that a low priority build for now. God, there's so much to build. So much to build. Get some more lumberjacks cutting down trees, shall we? In fact, I'm actually going to put in another lumberjack there, because We've got one, two, three, or five covering that area, but it's not enough, it would seem. Um, I've just realized that I had planned to put woodworking shops where I've put my engines. So what we might end up doing is, yeah, we could put them there. And there, and we'll just have to build our path out over the water, which is... Them. We'll do something like that. But yeah. We're not going to delete those. They're far too valuable. Yep. So we've got another stash of metal up here as well that we can make use of, which will be good. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure how we'll make use of this land, but I think if we make it um, so that we have a four wide channel making our way from these two um, and going through a bunch of water wheels as it comes around here, down into this that'll be a cool way of getting power permanently pretty early uh, beyond the, the 1600 we're going to get out of this i can see there being benefit as well in once we've got up here putting in gravity batteries um, i don't want to 
ruin the natural shape of this though. I quite like that. So I don't know what to do there. But coming all the way over here is a long way, so. I think this kind of cliff structure supports gravity batteries, then it's different to me constantly using flywheels. And how are we doing for resources at the moment? We are pretty low on planks and gears because we're basically everything's going into construction, isn't it? And, and metal blocks. Have we got our smelter running? We haven't, so. We probably should have. Uh, let's pause a few more things. Different things crop up as they get built. So all of the water wheels are built, which is cool. So it will be generating a huge amount of power once it's in, I think. Probably going to be like 2,700 else power once it's in. Um... And what we could do is we could do some stuff with platforms. Um, or internal gravity batteries, but I want the look of gravity batteries, so yeah. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do with it. We will sort something. Um, so what are they building now? I guess probably this stuff. Um, I'm going to come back when the bad tide has ended. We've got power. Well, the bad tide is over. We are down to 1.6k of water. So I'm going to unpause a few of those water pumps to top us up a little bit. Um, they've just got that connected. So this power grid is now generating a decent amount of power. Um, and I put back had to delete one of the power connections to be able to join everything up and we can now get these running for a bit uh, which is good so that's paused which is very nice uh, yep yeah, i probably need to pause a few log cutters just to give ourselves enough beavers still uh, yep, uh, we're making progress, we're making progress. Let's see, basically at the moment, I think we are largely limited by things like metal blocks and gears. Um, so it might be smart to uh, turn on a smelter as well. Um, so let's do that. Let's get a smelter running as well. Um, we're generating loads more power than we need. Um, and you can see the water is trying to avoid going around here. So it would probably be sensible to put a bit of a um, bit of a levee wall in to force it to go through here. Um, eventually. But for now, it's it's providing more than enough. I'm not worried. It's kind of kind of what I'm trying to say. They were working on, in fact, they have got built the the water wheel, which is producing quite a chunk of power. So we need to put in a platform here if we want to get across. You build on the other side as well. Um, and we need to put that there and then so we need to blow that out and then we can put a second water wheel and we have a drought approaching which means these will produce no power so yay um, but hopefully by then we will have engines that produce enough power to run enough of the industry that we don't need to have beavers working on that job um 
we need to prioritize getting this explosives in so we can get another water pump in here we have so much water available here we're just not making use of it so yep uh, and if we don't need to be keep keep putting four beavers into generating power because two of these engines will give us enough power for most of the industry that we want to run i think um we should be good i'm actually considering because i think we're resource limited i think i'm going to pause one of the builders and i didn't unlock it yet did i oh sin of sins we're gonna need to get a power connection across um so I guess that means we're probably going to end up deleting you and you. Let's put that in there and then we'll reconstruct all of that and we will get coffee going. Yep. Let's see, we have so much still to build. But you, yeah, you can see the way the water is naturally flowing around what we've got built. Um, so it might, I'm thinking it might be sensible to do that soon. We get these built. I think actually we probably need to get the high power shaft built first. I think then it would be sensible to get that, um, levy wall built across there. to focus the water through them. I think I kind of knew that all along, so I was just fooling myself that I didn't need to do that. Just fooling myself. It should be a pretty quick build because it's just a levy wall, you know. Um, right, we can start putting in some of these internal corners as well. Well, external corners, I guess they are. Right. Do that. You're getting that built. Uh, right, that's in, so we now don't need this path. So let's demolish that. We can demolish that. We can demolish that. We can also, you guessed it, demolish that and that. And I'm going to demolish those as well. And we're going to do levy wall like that. And then path all the way along the top of it and that will focus the flow of water through rather than around and the drought's just started so we're not going to get any power out of it anyway but we have two engines now so and thanks to smart power they will pick up the slack of generating the power we need um so i think at that point we would be sensible to stop all of you and we need to get some fermenters going over here so we want fermented cassavas unpause you blow you up to put in the power connections that we need go all right so we had food we'll press go platform there with a path and then we want food coffee brewery there and i think we want to get canola oil going and our first lot of fermented soybeans and maybe we have the 
second smelter going. Because metal blocks seems to be an issue. We still have a spare beaver, so let's get some explosives being made as well, hey? How about that? Um, and in terms of the power grid, providing about half the power that we need, so we probably want to prioritize building these guys. Um, and then let's just have a look at this, so that will connect up to there, we need to move this part over. I can build the next bit, which will be something like that. And there. There we go. Did they get stuff done up here? They did not yet, but that's okay because it's dried up now. So we do need bad water pumping to go ahead. 23 well being. Very nice. pick up all of those gears and planks that would be useful wouldn't it uh, but yeah this should help improve the power generation um, apart from the fact that some water will go down around this way but we can bias that as well by putting dams across here we'll see if we need to do that or not more metal blocks to finish that one and lots of metal blocks to finish that one pause that to save on power because we are short on power um, but we should now be producing more food so are we producing fermented soybeans are we not producing enough fermented soybeans? Let's have a look quickly. No, not quite. We might need a second one switched on. That's working. That's in. Actually, we probably want to take out that as well. That is prioritized because then we can put water pumps all the way along here we didn't want to be pumping this out during a drought stupid boy oh well oh well all right there's a bill awesome thank you neighbors for doing whatever you're doing which is incredibly noisy um, I do wonder about putting more in here now that I've got this I think until we've got power storage capacity it's probably not worth doing Excellent, so we've got canola and canola oil and coffee storage. We are fermenting soybeans, brilliant. I don't think we've got fermented soybean storage that I can see, so let's make some. Nope, we didn't have, so and let's set that to supply. And then let's look under here. We want to change one of those. So dive down here. And so you're fermented cassavas. So you should be fermented soybeans. Obtain. You should all be set to obtain. You should be prioritized by haulers as well. Um, 
you should be prioritized by haulers and we also need to put water storage there now let's do that water obtain let's prioritize building that let's get over here let's build our extra water pump here no oh. can't have it like that there we go perfect just have a look over here i did do some stuff over here i think while i was off camera i deleted all of the warehouse cheese and put levies in platforms over here so that doesn't use any of the vital components that we need for building things like these so that can happen um, I'm going to give that a little bit of priority so that it gets done and 2000 sites well we are a long way off of that but we do have spare beavers so Increase the size of our campus and let's unpause the builders. Yeah, I am pondering putting more of those in. What are we doing for wood now? We've got engines. It's my other concern. Is now we've got engines, should I be throwing in some more forest? I think the next thing I would like to do actually is... We can probably delete all of this now, can't we? Yeah, we probably can. Uh, yeah. And that will give us back a ton on. Oh, didn't mean to delete the water pump necessarily, but hey, we don't need that there particularly. Let's put a staircase there and we can get back all of those logs as well. So and you can go as well and we join up that bit of path and let's prioritize hiding up because it bugs me as much as it bugs you guys yeah we can then maybe just plant trees in here that wouldn't be a bad idea uh, but I think I want to work on deepening this part of the water course so we'll need to start stockpiling explosives probably getting actually something we haven't put in here that we should is a centrifuge um, we do not want it on never stop yeah a centrifuge would be a good idea as well we probably need to think about building another accommodation block as well because we seem to be using all of our beavers so so yeah can we unlock the oh, we're saving up the dirt excavator aren't we but i think the centrifuge would be useful we can afford a centrifuge so let's do that um, I'm not so worried about building those yet. I'd rather get you, you, you built, please. Uh, and if we get the centrifuge built, we can start making bigger explosives. I don't know how far down we can go. Not far by the looks of it, actually, because we're right at the bottom. So that's as deep as we can go. So we can only actually go one deeper here. 
Uh, but we should do that. We should make this deeper. Um, we should definitely make this deeper. We can't, I can't make this any deeper then because that is the bottom of the map. Um, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, yeah, I think... So I think next time... We are looking at increasing food, water, and population again. I think those are going to be the important ones for us. So I think food-wise, um, I'm just trying to think about the crops that these guys grow. Corn might be a good one. Maybe get some corn growing. If we can keep or, or hydrate this area, maybe get a corn farm going here and get a food factory in doing corn rations because that's really good. Um, the water pumping is easy and then we just put in more breeding pods. And we'll need to build more housing, obviously. Uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking. For the next wave of stuff. Really intrigued to see how this improves our power. But and at the moment, we... We're good for power because we've got enough engines and there's not enough beavers to run everything. Um, so we've got a few injuries. Not very much wet fur. We're not making coffee yet. We've not got enough of some of the well-being stuff. Um, that's okay. We're not awful for well-being and We've got a nice area we can grow in here for our industrial. We can even go across here, really, so we can do a nice big industrial area. Um, we can do another accommodation area here. We can always expand this up. If we need to. I'm really liking the idea of doing some sort of of petrol power thing over here by putting the caps over this to keep these permanently open. I think that would be really cool. It's quite a lot of space here once we get dirt to make a quite long or wide meandering channel, I think. Uh, yeah. Oh, they're up here. So I guess we could get them to... We need to delete that. We put that in. And I suppose we want a lumberjack up here. You cut down some of these trees. Because they're all dead anyway. Um, so they might as well be cut down. Anyways, how this is, we could almost drop in a, a water dump up here and turn this into some sort of weird raised farming plateau. Yeah. Anyway, I've been rambling for quite a long time so um thanks for watching guys hope you have enjoyed this video i am probably going to let this run on and finish building the industrial complex between videos and when we come back we will uh, look at the next stage of expansion which i think will be um food water and population 
and then hopefully getting our the excavation going up here so we can think about some sort of permanent power source with a kind of meandering bad water water wheel channel thingy and that might mean it's actually more sensible to put the excavation down here for now maybe tuck it in the corner over here um we've probably got the spare power to do that um, so maybe this is not a sensible idea um in reality i'll have a think about that um because if we want to completely terraform this we don't want to be relying on it to generate the dirt so maybe we want to be doing dirt down here and we can just bring power up from here so that was probably more sensible anyway yeah hope you enjoyed the video if you did click the like button and uh i'll see you next time